We received an RV Level Pro to try out. Hey, look, there's still some snow over there. <laughs> Tiny little snow pile. I did bring the sled. And I was like, wait a minute. We're the adults here. <laughs> we can have whatever we want. We can have whatever we want. Some of our giveaways for the swag out are starting to roll in. We got a electric bike to give away. Yes. It's unopened in the box. Just received it the other day from electric. So big shout out to them for donating this for the giveaway. Yeah, it's a black XP um, 2.0. Yeah. Unopened, brand new. Yeah. And Wallex sent us. Wallex is also participating in the swag out again. This has all kinds of stuff, all kinds of tank chemicals and stuff like that. And this is all stuff that we are going to be giving away. And just to answer the most frequent questions, no, there's no entrance fee to get into our get together. I mean, you pay for a campsite, obviously. Right. Uh, no, there's no cost for the raffle. What we've generally done in the past is like Saturday mid morning sometime. We walk around and we go campsite to campsite to give you like a little private meet and greet. Yeah. <laughs> I guess to say, to say thanks for coming out. And at that time, we'll have a whole, just Piper crying, yeah. a whole roll of tickets, raffle tickets. So we'll just ask you, do you want a raffle ticket? There's no cost to it. Right. We, it's 100% free. Yep. That is the most frequently asked question is, how much does it cost? And we give one ticket per person. So like a couple would get two tickets. If you have a kids with you, they get tickets. Right. A lot of times we spend a lot of our own money in this because last year Lynn went to Camping World and just like loaded up with camping supplies and we gave it all away. Yep. And we actually have some more things that I purchased that are on their way. We've got other things coming from other companies that have yet to arrive, so stay tuned for all those updates. And uh, in an upcoming video, we're gonna try this out. I just bought that. Yeah. That's an electric log splitter. So if you want to see Mike become a lumberjack. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see if that's any good. That's what the video's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, he's gonna test that big bad boy out. And we paid for that. Yes. It was not a freebie, $300. I figure we'll try it and see. Yeah, hopefully it's not $300 down the drain. We received an RV Level Pro to try out. Yeah, this is something that we're hoping will be very helpful when we're backing into campsites, try to find the most level spot. It's tiny, it's just a little tiny box. Hmm, that's it. Just in case you are wondering, it needs to be installed level, not, not all <laughs> janky. You give me some double-sided like foamy stuff to stick it to the whatever surface you're gonna stick it to, or these screws. I've already uh, scanned the QR code and I've downloaded the app, so we just have to figure out where we want to put this thing. When you go to install this, it shows all the different ways, label faces rear, label faces front, driver's side, passenger side, so on. So I think I'm just gonna stick it in this cabinet right here. Keep in mind, there's a little on off switch here on the bottom. Make sure you can always access that. Yeah, that's important. So I think I'm just gonna put it right in here. Gone ahead and I've leveled front to back and side to side, so I know we are on a level surface. It's on. I'll open the app. I found it. Say B or C. See, so one inches Fahrenheit, left side driving, and be width. What is the RV length? We need the wheelbase. 233 inches. 233. Okay, oh, so front. Unless you desired measurement, I'll go quarter inch, that's fine. Yeah, doesn't need to be. Uh, goes to sleep after an hour. Keep level because I've already leveled it. Congratulations. Congratulations. So it shows that we are completely level, obviously. So I will 
retract our levelers and it should be then off level, right? Should. <laughs> yep, look at it, it's already changing. That's cool. Yeah. Shows you real time. Now when we get to our campsite and we back in, the first thing I'll do is I'll check this. Obviously we have hydraulic leveling system, but the problem is if it's too low in the back, and we have to raise up the back end too much, you take weight off the drive axle. I know I've explained this before, but there's always new people watching. Right. If you lift the real the rear wheels off the ground, that's where your parking brake is. Mm-hmm. So it's not a good thing. Yeah, not not good at all. That's one advantage that travel trailers and fifth wheels have over a, a drivable, a motorhome, is motorhomes are much, much harder to level front to back. Right, you only have so much you can do. Because if you're in a trailer and you're low in the back, you just drop the tongue in the front. All the way down, you know. But us, we have to lift the back end if we're low in the back. Yeah. You know, it's a little more uh, involved. Mm -hmm. The leveling system is all retracted. And it shows it needs to come up three quarters of an inch on the left side or the driver's side. That's the side that the slides are in. Mm -hmm. So it's heavier on that side. And then the nose needs to go down. go down one and a half inches. So it's really not that unlevel. No, well, you're in a, a garage. <laughs> yeah. Just like the app said, looking at the level, we're a little bit low on the slide side or the driver's side, which means it has to come up slightly. And it shows it being low in the back end. So if you lift the back, it's going to level it out. Yeah, so it, it is pretty accurate. It concurs. isn't bad it says we're three quarters of an inch high in the nose two inches low on the left side yeah so that's pretty easy to manage yeah that's easy now we are technically off the pad but right. it's a very long sight so what's it matter This equalizer system is just trash. It's garbage. You tell it to level and it never, it's never level. Oh, 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 oh. oh. All right, now the front needs to come up. What's the verdict? Is it close? Yes, it's real close. The natural light. That's front to back. Now side to side, it's real close. Yeah. Close enough. Close enough for us. I mean, it says it's level, side yeah. to side, front to back. So, we'll we'll take that for sure. Well, this site is nice and big, but even without leaves on the trees, we still don't get the satellite here. This is site number sixty-five here at Delaware State Park, Delaware, Ohio, and uh, the site is really big. I like it like that this is all stone so even if it you know it is has been really wet and all the snow has been melting that this is just rock it's not mud so that's amazing for us as you can see the pad is a long pad but then you have all this stone behind you that we utilized apparently this site used to be a yurt site at least that's what Dave Fitch said so I like it what do you think guy what do you think? You like it? He says, I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh, guy. We got here and it was bright and sunny and it no longer is. It was so quiet and peaceful that we actually went back and tried to take a nap. And one of the best parts of that is now it's time for dinner 
and we're adults. So what do adults have? Cinnamon rolls. I'm going to make some cinnamon rolls because I bought, I usually don't buy these. I couldn't remember, couldn't tell you the last time I bought any, but uh, Mike said he really wanted them. I said, that's not for dinner. And I was like, wait a minute. We're the adults here. <laughs> we have whatever we want. We can have whatever we want. So cinnamon rolls it is. Oh man, convection win. Delicious. Yeah. How's your dinner? It's good. It looks uh, pretty good. Piper's crying for some, so <laughs> must smell good. <laughs> Can't have that girly girl. Mm. You neither, guy. can't believe it. You don't have any thermals on. No. I don't have a coat on. Still naked. Yeah. It's almost like Christmas all over again. <laughs> it's supposed to be, now I say that loosely, it's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It is still technically winter. I don't even know if it's 50 yet. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the wind is a little, little breezy, but overall it's a, I mean, it's sunny, so that's really going to help. Yeah, she's just like making a huge amount of noise, but she camouflages right into those leaves pretty well. Piper, you got like a whole, are you collecting sticks for the campfire? Cause yeah, all the sticks. Oh my gosh. You do work. Yeah. Hey look, there's still some snow over there. Tiny, <laughs> Tiny little snow pile. I did bring the sled. Oh yeah, let's let's take it on that mound over there. We're out here taking a a stroll in these warm temperatures that we don't know how to dress in. The dogs are panting. It's really not even that warm. I want to say it's like 60 something. Maybe. Yeah. I mean it's sunny, but it's windy, clearly. It's a drastic difference from our winter. Yeah, I mean I'm, I miss the winter. There's a lot of people, and since it's nice on a, on a weekend, there's so many people out here randomly walking their dogs. So we gotta get the dogs reacclimated to seeing other dogs. people and other dogs again. Piper, you, that was the first time you didn't like growl or kill. lunge at Wade, so. <laughs> That was a, and she's, she doesn't have any pills in her system. She's just natural pipe. <laughs> Trying to creep. Is this your next truck, Dave? It might be. I mean, it's got enough wheels on it. Oh, yeah, I got training wheels. It's got a gooseneck hitch. muddy it is, if we can be passable. Well, it's really not too muddy out, which is nice, but I am hot. I'm only wearing the hat because it was so windy up at the camper that uh, my hair was just driving me crazy, so I put on a light hat just to keep it down, and now I'm just like...
Yeah, you do it all wrong, guys. You gotta stay, there you go. You gotta stay back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't like this. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll hold ya. Here we go. So after this weekend, it's my last camping weekend for probably at least four to five weeks. And that is due to my job, my work schedule. I will be working seven twelves for the net foreseeable future. Let's just say that because I work at a nuclear power plant every two years, we have a refueling outage. So that is what we're heading into and it'll last approximately a month or so depending on how things go. And uh, so yeah, that'll be my life. I'll be actually living in the race during that time. But uh, we do have a question for you guys. If you would like to know more about our jobs and what we do, that's probably the most frequently asked question we get is, how do you two afford what you have, what do you guys do uh, for a living, all those types of questions. And we figured if, if enough people really do want to know that, then we will actually do like a detailed video, not even like just about, but kind of try to show what some of our job entails. So let us know in the comments and if you would like to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us and, and we appreciate it. For now, we're gonna get home because I need to get to bed because I'm actually doing all that shift work on nights. So I'm working on 6 p.m.